This is how to administer IV Altaplace using the Sigma Spectrum Pump. The first thing you're going to do is print off your instructions that will give you steps to set up the pump, as well as the dosing chart for the IV Altaplace. Once you have primed and loaded your tubing, you're going to choose the critical care area profile and put in your drug name. So you're going to text in the first two letters, A, L. Scroll down to choose Altaplace CVA. Do not choose the line occlusion Altaplace. And remember, this is a high alert drug, so it requires an independent double check. Set up pump to appropriate weight of your patient. We will use 75 kilos for this particular patient. Once you know your patient's weight, circle it or highlight it on your dosing chart so it's easy to refer back to. And enter your weight, 75 kilograms. Click OK to confirm preset dose at 0 .0, uh, 0.9 milligrams per kilogram. At this time, scroll up to change the rate. Do not enter the volume to be infused. So the rate you get off of your dosing chart, I am going to set my rate at 60.8 milliliters per hour. Then press OK. Now press confirm on ML per hour change screen. Now change volume to be infused to the volume to be infused from the table. On the table, 75 kilogram volume to be infused is 67.5. Press OK when you're done with that. Now the loading dose screen shows up. Do you want to deliver a loading dose from the primary bag? Yes. Amount milligrams per kilogram should be preset at 0 0.09. Press OK if that is the case. Time should be set to one minute. Press OK if that is the case. Press run to start your loading dose. Verified droplets are falling into the tubes. One minute from now, we will press review to make sure that the infusion will go over the next hour and our bolus has been delivered accurately. At this time, we will press review and make sure the time remaining equals one hour as it does. This has been the way to set up the Sigma Spectrum Pump for IV Alta Place for ischemic CVAs.